How big is a 100 square meter house? This is one square meter, and we just built a house with a hundred of these boxes. Let's walk through it. We'll show you the plans, the layout, and how it feels inside. Keep watching to find out more. A square meter is simply one meter widthways and one meter lengthways. And for most of the world, apart from you cool guys in the USA, that's the measurement system we use to work out footprint of buildings, sizes of rooms, and the area of the spaces we build and live in. Let's show you a square foot in comparison. This is a square foot, and there is 10.76 of those in this square meter. So let's have a look at this house's floor plan. It's actually 111 square meters. So a little bit of trickery there in the title. We come in the front door here and you've got dining room here and a lounge on the left. TV wall here, option for a TV wall here as well. You've got a kitchen with a bar and you can get three bar stools there. Large, generous kitchen. And when we were in this felt like ample space to do everything you need for a three bedroom home. Walk down the hallway and the main bathroom is on the right. Bedroom on the left. And this was a cool part. We had a separate laundry with walkthrough out to, you could put a washing line out in this area here. Go down, we've got another bedroom at the back end on the right. And on the left is the master bedroom with an ensuite. And the ensuite was 1.8 meters deep by 1.6 meters wide. Let's walk around the 111 square meter house we have built in Lower Hutt. Yo, this was a job where the client wanted me to do one house and we said, did you know you can subdivide? And now she has two houses. One of the easiest ways to get a sense of what is on paper, what that feels like in the real world, is to get out your tape measure and measure up the rooms and spaces you already have. Or even at a friend's house, yo, can I measure up your room, your kitchen, and talk to them. How long is your kitchen? How wide is your kitchen? What are the pain points you feel in your plan? Start to find a way to relate what's on those pieces of paper to real life spaces. One of the largest things that will dictate your house size is your section size and your site coverage. Site coverage is the amount of section you're allowed to cover with building. 
Different areas in New Zealand have different site coverage rules. Even different areas within a city have different site coverage rules. Work out your site coverage, work out the maximum building you can build, then work backwards from there and make your floor plan work. Comment below, what do you wanna know about square meter rates? What size house would you like to see? A 60 square meter house, 150 square meter house, a 370 square meter house, and you better be subscribing. Thank you.